everybody, it's Angie. It just being New Year's Eve the other day, I find a lot of people are making New Year's resolutions um, to either lose weight or to start back in at the gym and get healthy. I was just going to give you a couple of statistics about our body's aging process. Um, and one of them is that as you get older, starting at 40, your body just naturally starts to lose muscle mass and bone density. Women, especially at 50, the bone density issue just accelerates like crazy. You start just leaching calcium out of your bones. And um, with the muscle mass declining, it's like the double whammy of creating brittle bones. So what happens when people get older? They fall, they break something, they go into the hospital. But it's a tough and long recovery. And I'm not saying I'm old or going to fall and, you know, break something. But, you know, next... 15 years, whatever, that could easily happen. So I want to keep my bones and my muscles as strong as possible. And the best way to do that is to do weight-bearing exercise. Now, weight-bearing exercise could be walking, it can be riding a bike, it can be doing yoga, or it can be actually lifting weights. And I know a lot of women out there don't like to lift weights because they don't want to get, you know, big and bulky, but you don't have to get big and bulky. I lift weights three times a week. The heaviest weight I lift is a 12 pounder. And you know what? I worked up to that over quite a long period of time. So if you're starting out, you might start with a three pound weight, a five pound weight, whatever you can lift and just work your way up if you stick with it. The other thing as we get older, our joints get a little stiffer and a little, a little tighter. So a nice workout to do is yoga because the more that you move your joints, your joints don't get, you know, kind of arthritic. So, you know, movement is really good for you. We lead such a sedentary lifestyle. It's hard to get up off that sofa and it's hard to get away from your computer. But um, I find that it's really important. So try things. Try, what, try lots of different things until you find something that you can stick with. I have tried yoga at like a really high-end yoga studio with like a yoga guru in town. And then I went to a, you know, hot yoga studio. And I gotta say the hot yoga while I did it for a year, it made me feel wonky afterwards. I couldn't stand all the upside downness, all the blood rushed to my head. It was just, it was just weird. I liked the workout. It made me feel flexible and good, but over time I couldn't stick with it. It hurt my wrists. I was getting carpal tunnel. I was like, ah, God. So that was the end of that. <laughs> I tried uh, floor Pilates. I tried reformer Pilates. I like that, but like it didn't work up enough of a sweat for me because I need the cardio as well. And I like to get everything into one workout. I've been to the gym and done just the, uh, you know, the treadmill or the stepper or the exercise bike, and I I don't really like the gym. I find that I make a lot of excuses while I while I'm there, and I need somebody to tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. If I go to the gym and like get on the treadmill or the stepper, I'll be off it in ten minutes. I'm like, time is going by so slowly. This is so boring. I can't take it. Um, and even the classes, like the people jockeying for position, like this lady always has to stand in front of the mirror and this one has to be here and you know, I'm shoved to the back corner and I don't like going around to the machines because you have to wait for somebody else and then there's sweats on it. You know, I have a million reasons why I'm not going to the gym, I'm not going to yoga, I'm not going to Pilates. But what I have found is that I do enjoy working out by myself at home. Nobody sees me, nobody sees if I like, you know, my belly's sticking out. I like it because I can do, I can have a lot of videotapes. They're not videotapes anymore, they're DVDs now. But when I started 30 years ago, they were videotapes. You know, I have so many now that there's a lot of variety. I have a kettlebell workout. You know, so you can even, you can keep up to date with your workouts. Um, I have one series that is for people who are older, and it's not an old person's workout, but it works the smaller muscles, and it, it has a lot of bending and twisting and functional exercises that, uh, you know, work you in ways that help you just do things in your day. When I'm like squatting in front of my washing machine, <laughs> taking the clothes from the washer to the dryer, I feel like, oh yeah, I could stay down in the squat because I've done, you know, 30 of them. Uh, the day before and that helps me with you know the functional parts of my life shoveling snow or whatever it's easier to do that when I have to do it because I have done a workout that has that same kind of bending and twisting motion it's just such a variety and I love it I love doing like one hour 
because I feel like that's like a small chunk of time that I can really get my mind around. I work out in the morning, I get up, I have my breakfast, my cup of tea, and then, you know, don't put the TV on. You have to put the TV on to do the workout, but put it right to DVD. You know, don't start watching because once you start getting sucked into TV, then forget it. The day's gone. So go right to your workout, do it. You know, if you don't have to have a great outfit, you don't have to look terrific. I don't want to put on makeup to go to the gym. I, that's why I enjoy working out at home. And I have done each of my workouts enough times that I know what they're going to do. I know which weight they're going to pick up next. So I know what to get out. I have a whole series of weights and I, and I know if I'm not feeling up to it that day, I can ratchet down a set of weights. So anyway, that's just my little bit about how I work out and how I stay motivated is just that I found something that I like. I enjoy it. It's compact. I do it at home. I turn off the video and then I just walk right into my shower. I don't have to walk around sweaty and go to the grocery store or shower in some strange shower and bring all my junk with me. Um, so this is what works for me. But what I'm saying is just, you know, find whatever it is that works for you. If you have a friend who likes to bike or likes to walk or likes to hike, if you have um, a great park in your area, if you have, like we have a little, um, a little mini mountain here you know walking up that on a Saturday morning with your girlfriends you know it's social but it's so good for your heart and then a couple days a week you know maybe once you go to yoga and maybe once you work out at home you know just figure out what it is that can work for you that you can stick with that you like and whatever weight you're at if you're happy with it then by all means don't think I'm telling you oh my god you have to lose weight you don't um, you know, if you're ha happy and you're healthy and you can function in your life, then that's great. But if you can't walk up a flight of stairs without huffing and puffing or you want to chase your kids around the yard and you can't do that and you just say to yourself, I can't do it, just start slow. Take it easy. Go into it um, at a pace that you can manage. You know, you don't want to go into it too hard and hurt yourself. Um, so, you know, like I said, just find something, even if it's walking, you know, you might have to go to a destination to walk, walk the mall if it's cold where you are, um, go to the high school and walk the track. Just, uh, you know, get out there and do it or stay inside and do it. Buy one DVD, a workout DVD. If you can't even afford a, a workout DVD, there is a whole world of free stuff right here on YouTube. Just whatever kind of workout you want to do, search it, you can find it, it's perfectly free. A lot of it, you don't need any equipment. So, um, yeah, that is my long, long, long rant on staying healthy as we age. <laughs> so um, I will get more specific uh, in a future video about what DVDs that I do use and love. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.